replacing a coin cell battery and disassembling the R series. So, pull your power, AC cord, pull your battery. Um, you gotta remove this well. There's a screw right here. There's two screws here underneath the sticker. I don't want to replace this whole label, so I just need little slits to get it out. And then you just have to pry this up and back. Like that. Now your connectors are back here, so be careful so we can get this up and out. See them back there? Don't bother unplugging that. There's no need to. There's only one screw in the front here. There's this section right there. Right here. Good long drill bit right there to get that on the printer pull the door and it's these little tabs bend so you can get it in and out <clears throat> pull that watch your spring take these two screws once this is out of the way then you can get this from the back up just printer more you have to be careful there's enough length to get this just out of the way so you can get underneath to get this screw in this screw without having to disconnect anything. Now from there, you've got these three uh, hex screws, hex cap screws in the front, and these take a 964th. Okay. Now you're also going to have to remove this handle if you have one, just because you can't bend this down enough to get it out. And that's just four more of those 964th screws. One, two, three, Four. There you go. And then you should be able to bend this down. There we go. Be careful, watch all the cables in here. You can see they're all glued over to hold them in place. Which is annoying. I don't want to have to mess with the glue. Hot glue. So I'm going to pull it from this side. There's no glue on this side. Or this connector here. And then this one, of course, just pull it out. There we go. And it's glued on this side also, so now it's taped down. So just break the glue, get a hot glue gun. Not a big deal. There we go. Pops off fairly easy. So that one doesn't have glue, but so far it's been a pain to get out. And the harder it is to get out, the harder it's going to be to get in. Since I'm already doing the glue gun here, I will just do it here too, you know? Not like they design these things for the average biomed, whatever that is these days. Try not to pull on the wires too much if you need. Once you get the glue cut or broken, nice and gentle, the screwdriver just ease it out so you don't break anything. Okay, there's our display and button backing. Here's our boards. Okay, so I gotta take the side out too, because these boards, you see this whole setup here, it's only got me pull it. So, one, two, three, four, and then nice thin little number one, flat. Boom, and that loosens it up. Watch your little speaker cable here. You have to be careful with all these things when you're working on them. So there's all kinds of little things, and if you haven't noticed yet, the manufacturer doesn't want Biomed's working on their stuff, even with the right to repair. They're making it difficult. And now I can see the coin cell right there. See that white round piece? Just make better zoom in that right there. That's your coin cell. I'm just like, I make this easy. Well, to get this assembly out in order to get to that, I gotta pull these cables out. Ribbon cables out. It's anything that's not moving. I'm gonna do some prying to get it this far. Let's see if we can hear. Put some cable underneath. Let's see how much further we can go. I disconnected those cables. Uh, this one has enough slack that you can wait till you pull it out a little bit more to get to it. Otherwise, you're never gonna get the back in. Um, I'm watching things as I pull it, and it looks like I gotta pull this block down here too, which is just four screws. So you pull those four screws, and then you get this whole assembly comes up with it. You just gotta look for this guy right here. Connector is right here. Small Phillips will get in that. Okay, so this cables from the battery well. You can just take off from the board underneath, right here. Should be easy to connect. 
Yeah, this SPO2 cable right here is a problem. It's glued on here, but you can pry that off. It's weak. And then the cable itself. Here's your connection. You can pry it with a screwdriver right here. And use the same screwdriver to put it back on. See that top board. And then the only thing left would be this cable from the printer. But you see how far out we are right now. Almost get to that battery. All right, so pull this glued on connector off. Watch this little ribbon cable here, push that in. And now you've got, I don't see anything left, so there we are. And there's our coin cell battery. What a pain in the ass that was. So uh, to reassemble, just do all that backwards. Good luck.